Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about the GTX 980 Ti, which is rumored to be coming out after summer, according to sweetclockers.com, which is here. All the links are going to be in the description below. Um, according to reports, it's basically going to be a, a scaled down version of the Titan X. What this means, it's going to have everything exactly the same with higher clock rates, but it's going to have half the memory. Now, memory, as you all know, is very... It's not important at all at this point, uh, especially if you're not going for 4K or 5K displays, which aren't very common at this day and age. And the thing is that with the Titan X in reports, no one's managed to get get it to use more than than six, seven, eight gigabytes of GDDR5. And this is in extreme cases where they have two test benches and two games open, for example. So in normal usage, you won't even ever need six gigabytes of GDDR5. So the GeForce GTX 980 Ti is rumored to be coming at $600. Now I find this hard to believe since it's basically identical to the Titan X. If they release this card too soon, it's going to compete with the Titan X too, and they, they basically won't have any sales. So there could be two different reasons for them doing this. <clears throat> Firstly, they don't expect any sales from the Titan. And since they're going to be releasing this in September, they just they, they, they're not worried about competing and destroying their Titan product line since they expect to have sold all their units by then anyway. The second reason could be that they have just found out what AMD is planning to release and the price ranges of the 390X and possibly the 380X. What this means is that they're trying to compete directly with the 390X, which will be released a couple of months before this card comes out. So this could mean that the 390X really is a beast and that the 980 Ti is is um is basically trying to compete with it now one huge um downside to the 980 ti is that it has exactly the same tdp as the gtx uh, titan x which is not very nice from the maxwell architecture since that was the, one of the really good things about nvidia now for most people this won't be a problem but if you're really trying to be efficient then the 980 might be better since it has a much lower tdp Another problem is also that the Titan X hasn't really been as overclockable as the uh, previous uh, GM204. And this is because in the GM200, they've thrown in 8 billion transistors and they've just really been pushing all the cores, which means that it's just not as efficient, which is seen as in the TDP. And less efficient cards don't overclock as well. Now, with the 980 Ti, we don't really know anything yet, and this is all rumors. But since it's based on the Titan X, we can say that the overclocking is going to be very similar and we can expect around 10% overclock or so, while the GTX uh, 980 can go to 20, 25% with the right cooling. Um, so to, we, we don't really know much about the t 980 Ti and people have been saying that there won't be one uh, for quite a while. They said the 780 Ti was a one-off thing in order to directly compete with AMD. But the thing is, they might be doing, repeating this. With this uh, generation, they might just be trying to compete with AMD's 390X again. So we'll have to see um, in summer if there's any more reports or if this is just a rumor. But it's it's very it's very possible. Um, some other reports have been saying 8 gigabytes. Now, I, I highly doubt that this is based on anything. And looking at their reports, they... They seem to be off on their numbers quite a bit with the with the power draw and everything. So I'm not quite sure where Game Debate is getting their information from. So I wouldn't take um, their st stats uh, specs seriously. Uh, Sweet Clockers is um, the original article, and then WCC, FTech, and Video Cards have recycled that article and put it nicely, nicely, especially since SweetClockers.com is not. English. I'm not sure if there's there's a way to make it in English. I just translated it, which isn't very good. Um, WCC Tech has uh, some more comparisons against the 970, 960, 980, and Titan X. And as you can see, um, it it basically just it's it's a the 980 Ti is a beast. Oh, according to them, it would cost seven hundred dollars, while they say six hundred dollars. I'm not quite sure what if sweet the, the, these guys don't seem to even mention a price. So we'll have to see. Um, Seven hundred dollars sounds more accurate, but it completely depends on if they've managed to um, make their production process a lot more efficient with the GM two hundred, because six hundred does seem very low. I mean, I can't picture the Titan X costing them less than than six hundred to produce, and since it's basically the Titan X, 
I, I just can't, cannot see how they could make any profit from selling it for 600 so <clears throat> if if it is being sold at 600 that means they are very worried about what AMD is about to put out and if they're selling it at 700 then fair enough then they're not that, that, that that's that's an okay price 700 is what what I would expect to um so that's about everything about the GTX 980 Ti and I'll update you in future videos uh, make sure to check out my other videos on the uh, new 980 hybrid and uh, on other news such as Samsung trying to buy um, AMD thanks for watching